two minutes into reading, you're already losing concentration. You're already dozing off. You're tired of the book. You're tired of what you're reading. And I'm not even sure you understood what you're reading. So stick to this video. I'm going to drop some tips on how to stay focused when reading, improving your concentration, quit sleeping, and also understanding what you are reading. My number one tip is to know the kind of person you are and know what method of reading suits you. Are you the kind of person that you can read where so many people are? Are you the kind of person that you have to get to a quiet environment before you can be able to read and understand? Or are you the kind of person where you have to play music or even start eating some little little things before you can be able to understand what you are reading? So I want you to take if not two or three minutes of your time to sit down and understand the kind of person you are. Try different methods of reading and which one works better for you. Do you like reading in the daytime? Do you like reading at night when everywhere is cool? Find something that works with you because that is what is going to take you to the next step. Very sure you have found the method that suits you. The next thing is time. Set out some time for yourself. It can be you want to use 30 minutes to read. It can be you want to use one hour to read or two hours to read. It doesn't determine the topic or the book or the novel or anything. Just set out a particular time per day. Setting a certain time for yourself, very sticking through those times, will signify to your brain that there is a time for reading. A set of 30 minutes to one hour of your time for reading per day. The next thing is taking away distractions. Avoid distractions when you are reading. Your phones, social medias, friends, TVs, anything that you know that can cause you distraction away from the focus of what you are reading, you have to just take it away. If possible, don't even bring it to closer to the environment of where you are reading. The next tip is don't rush while you are reading. We humans, we have different ways we understand things. We have different ways we try and concentrate to whatever we are reading. So I might use three hours on a novel before I can understand what that novel is talking about. Some other people will read just the first line and they already understand what is going on there. This is the main reason why most of us sleep while we are reading. And it's because we are doing more than our body can collect. We are not considering what our brain can collect per day. If your brain can collect a page per day, then know that yes, that page per day is what you are going to stick to. If your brain can collect two pages per day, know that yes, it's two pages per day I want to be sticking to to be reading. But the moment you start reading four pages, five pages, six pages, you are stressing your brain. And by that time, it's going to get boring. Whatever you are reading is going to get boring and you will sleep off. For instance, you set up just a page per day and you just read this particular page. You understand everything that is going on in the page. You won't sleep and it won't be boring to you. But you are reading five pages, you are reading six pages. You want to finish the whole book today. No, when you understand what you are reading, before you even get to half of the page, you are already sleeping. You are already tired, you are bored. If you have just a page that yes, I want to read just a page today. I'm reading just a page tomorrow. I'm reading just a page next to tomorrow. You won't be able to sleep because before the brain gets tired, you have already gotten to your limit, you have stopped, you have understood what you want to read, and fine, that's all. Don't overwork your brain because overworking your brain will make you sleep and make everything you are reading look boring to you. No matter how you love the topic, no matter how you love the book, you will be bored and you will sleep off. Take us to our next tip, which is take breaks. Always take breaks while you are reading. If you are dedicated one hour to read, know that, okay, fine, I've read up like two, three or four lines or five lines of reading, then okay, just take like say two or three minutes of break, cool down, just freshen up. Maybe you could just take some snacks to eat, just get out to get some fresh air and come back to what you are reading. Because you are just reading continuously, 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 you are not giving yourself break. You are not giving this brain the time to assimilate all what you have read. No matter who you are, no matter the method you chose of reading, no matter what suits you in reading, always have a break for yourself. The final tip is to eat well and get enough sleep. Yeah, I know it's not all houses in each country that they are actually eating very good food and well fed, but try as much as possible to have something in your stomach while you are reading. If not snacks or something to just keep your stomach running, especially get enough sleep. Like for real, you need sleep. Like you need to rest. Your brain needs to rest. Your body needs to rest. Like whatsoever you are reading, whatsoever topic you are you are getting into, whatsoever book you, are, you want to read, you want to understand, you want to keep your focus and concentration and try to stop sleeping while you are reading, is to get a better sleep before you even come to the book. Before you get into the reading you want to read per day, you should have slept enough that 
no matter how boring the book is if you slept during the night or during the day i don't know the method you choose you might be the type that you like reading at night and you might be the type that you like reading at night during the day but if you have slept enough you have given your body the particular amount of sleep it needs you have given your brain the time to reset and come back to the normal procedure it has to be to be able to understand and concentrate in whatever topic or book you are reading then you will be able to understand everything you are reading clearly and give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below how this video helps you or how it's going to help you or how it has helped you